when we had last left Team Bald, they were continuing their thorough examination of the city of Baldur's Gate. It led them to the Flaming Fist's headquarters where they had words with Scar, and also decided to go <laughs> take on some doppelgangers at the Seven Suns Merchant Emporium? I, I don't know. Super Merchant Area. And indeed, it seemed as if, as if nearly every merchant there was taken over by a doppelganger. But, alas, that was not the end of their troubles, for deep below Baldur's Gate as well, in the stinky sewers, as it turned out, there were some weird sewer people who were really angry. <laughs> it was weird. But now, it was time to continue exploring their strange, nasty sewer area. This is Baldur's Gate. Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. Let us unhide all of this stuff. There we go. And also, gentle viewers, let me double check here. Daniel and Nubile Reptile wrote in, and of course, thanks to all the folks who gave them likes and all that, wrote in saying that indeed there was a side Wanted, room you got it. that we missed, an easily missable side room at the Seven Suns that would have gotten us our proper completion. Alas, what can you do? Man, another body. There really are just bodies all over this place. All right, yeah, let's keep digging through all this. Oh, who is this? Schwertsch, er, Schwertsich. <laughs> Stop where you are, pale child. Your flesh, it's all green and alive and, and crawling. What has done this to you? Stand aside and grant me passage. I have no fear of ye. I have heard that foul things breed in these sewers' airs, and now I have seen it for my own eyes. Let me put you out of your misery, whatever you may be. Yet yeah, you're- what has happened to you? Foolish one, you mistake a slorpshi, a blessing for a curse. Slorps. What is this meager flesh in the face of such terrific beauty? It is Shlumpsha who has done this to me, and you would be blessed should he grant you the same privilege. Are you going to attack me? Oh no. Okay. Weird. So were we meant to approach from this angle? <laughs> <laughs> okay, because we already me. met Shlumpsha and did battle. Maybe we should continue exploring down here first. I guess we'll see. Let's do a quick save. Anything else around here? Ooh, giant spider. There we go. Easy enough. You want it? You okay. got it. Oh wow. More sewer folk. So, are sewer folk, I guess, just regular people who got sucked down into the sewers and got in some way corrupted by Shlumpsha? What is Shlumpsha? I don't even know, or what was Shlumpsha, I should say. What is a sewer folk? Is it like a different kind of person, or is it like a mutant? I don't know. Okay. Go, let's do Cure Light Wounds on Minsk. I guess it would have to be a mutant, right? Because, I mean, where would they have come from? Because certainly, like, sewer me. folks couldn't have existed before sewers Go existed, for huh? Go for the ice okay. Man, look at all of these spider eggs. There are a lot of them here. Goodness gracious. I wonder what is up above us. All right. Oh, more spiders. All right. Jeez, Minsk is really taking a beating. Let's toss him another heal from Jahira this time. Vita, 
There we go. That'll do for now. I've got this. Okay. Head on up here. Along this stinky pathway. Whole bunch of kegs as well. How are all these things getting into the sewers, you think? Right? I mean, the grates are there. Hmm. Maybe people just dump stuff down here. Okay. Hey, is the implication also that Baldur's Gate has plumbing? Is that the implication? I guess it is. Right? It's not like people are throwing poop buckets out into the city streets and stuff. Or I guess... I don't know, when people did that, did you still have sewers where, like, all the poop flowed? After you, you just threw it out your, your window or whatever? Venturing forth. Hmm. I feel like that wasn't the case, it just kind of, like, flowed down a, a street canal. Made for poop. Or something, something along those lines. Okay. Well. Hmm. Should we keep looking through this section before we commit to one of these? I think so. Okay. Can I go over here? It doesn't seem like it. Alright. Odd. Very well. Let's keep on going. Over here, anything? Nah. How about all the way down here? Can I maybe go- oh, look, okay. Okay, we got some more stuff. Alright. Oh no, wait, look. Your party oh shit, venturing. nope, I don't want to go in there yet. Let's see, this one is also cordoned off from us. Wow, fuck, okay. I guess we'll go down this- gather your party This section? Venturing forth. Oh, I don't know if I even can. Party before venturing forth. It says we have to gather, but gather I can't. Your party before venturing forth. Huh. Weird. Okay. I've got this. I've done had enough Sticky of this. Wheel I can but try. Good as done. As directed. Okay. You, you want it? Gather you your got party it. No. Venturing huh. forth. You must gather your party. Oh, dinner here wasn't forth. nearby. Fuck me. Okay, and this is the last section that we were at and fully explored. Okay. And you can't go eastward anymore, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Sure. So then Don't let's return to that central section of sewer. And then... If I travel from... Can I go from here? Yeah, let's go up you want here. It, you've got it. Because I'm worried, like, if we go through this one, we'll just go back into the same section as that we just came from. Right. We'll just... We'll fully explore all this. Why not? Okay, ooh. There are ghasts. Okay. Let's bring Minsk back a little bit. Okay. Good. And now let's go in. Lovely. Very good. Okay. I've got this. I should also point out that um, for dinner here's most recent level. I got her a point in throwing darts or whatever. Figured why not. I've got this. Because the only other options were melee. Okay. Up this way, through you here. Must gather your party before venturing forth. Good. Oh shit, where am I? You want it? You got it. We're in some like cellar. Huh. Okay. Mm. Well, there's a guard here. What is this place? Hey, no one's supposed to be down here. State your business, for I have to give you to the beats. For, for I have to give you the beats. Don't get so excited. We're just checking out some wares that we bought from the Iron Throne. We're new recruits. We were told to have a look around. So that's what we're doing. Eat steel, scum. Is this the... Is this the Iron Throne headquarters? Is this like their basement? We're just checking out some wares that we bought. Okay, carry on then. What is this place? Huh. Can I enter here? I can, but... I'm gone. Seems like for no good reason. 
except to access these. I've got this. All right, we got some scrolls. Fair enough. Should we? You should we stay it? down here? Should it. I go back? I don't have a quest yet to like. It sounds like we're in the basement of the Iron Thrones place, you know? Hmm. As well as I can. Okay, let's go over here. We'll check out these. You come up. Can I get Insta ID on these? Oh, here, let's go back and identify this shield. Medium shield plus one. Good. This one? No, nothing. I'm assuming they're all cursed or whatever. Nothing there. This way. What's inside of this treasure chest or trunk? Whole bunch of potions. Okay. Sure. Good. We'll take these. Giant strength. Insulation. Man, is this actually a shop then? Some decent stuff in there. You want it? You got it. Huh. Fuck it. Let's quick save and go up a. Oh. What? Listen to this music. This is very ominous. What 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 the fuck does that mean? What was that? What was that a statue of? What? Where Don't am worry I? About me. No, hey, uh, no time to chit chat. Triador. Or Triador. Out! Away! Fly while you can! There be madness here, and I can stand it no longer. Madness in this much lauded tower? There be malice here, I have no doubt, but madness? Never. Calm down and explain yourself, good sir, that I may better- that I may understand you better. Sure, let's say that. Calm down! Calm down while Saravux, uh, Saravux acolytes practice their magic cacophony above me. I dare say not, stranger, I dare say not at all. Okay, and there's a guard on the approach. Oh, shit. Welcome to the Iron Throne Citadel. Could you please state what business brings you here? We have no business here, but perhaps this 100 gold would let us in anyway. We've business with your leaders. We've just come from Sembia and are quite weary. So if you would just step aside, we would be grateful. We're seeking employment with the Iron Throne. If you could just direct us to someone with whom we should speak, we'll be on our way. If I were to give you these 200 gold, would you not ask any questions and just let us in? I'm here to kill all those who would associate themselves with the Iron Throne. Fuck. Okay. Hmm. Let's try some bribery. It's only 200. We don't have any questions. Come on in. Very good. Okay. So is this the front door then, right me. here? Oh shit, it is. Okay, so we're back here, back at the harbor area. Wow. Don't worry about me. Okay. Huh. You want it? Let's go you back down though. You good. want it? You got it. Now, how did we even get in here? Oh, this it's a hidden entry point. Okay, so Don't then does this me. lead somewhere else of interest? Hmm. Maybe each one of these paths actually goes somewhere different. Oh, shit. Yeah, like, where are we now? Jesus, maybe we should not be fucking around with this. <laughs> at least not yet. Not until we at least explore the, the surface you level. Want it? You've got it. Yeah, let's go back. There was Don't some man named me. Dyler there. Okay. Let's head on up this way. You must gather your party before venturing forth. There we go. Now where the hell am I? Okay, we're up here. Well, let's backtrack, because I think we it? skipped over a quadrant. There we are. Over here. Very good. 
Have we done anything in this section yet? I can't remember. I don't think so. It doesn't even look like I entered any of the buildings here. Huh. Alright. Now this is... This is where we left off, right? Yeah, there's the Flaming Fist Castle. We didn't check out all of these stores, or did we? Let's see. Yeah, all not all of these are opened. Yeah, so let's continue this. looking through these. And this general store as well, connected to the Seven Sons. Okay, good. Yeah, I would like to continue being thorough, because it seems like every so often there's a hidden something or other in the city. I've got this. All right. Doesn't seem like anything remarkable here, though. Storekeep? Welcome to my humble establishment. Welcome to my shop. You're free to look about as you wish, but do try not to break anything. Okay, what have you got? Arrow of piercing. Okay. Hmm. Very well. Let's head on out I've over got here. This. Good. Okay. And then down this way, all I've these buildings this. here. Lovely. Now, are these locked at all? No, they are not. Okay, good. Don't worry about me. Oh, it is locked. Okay, right, because it's purple. This way. Yeah, it looks like actually all of them are perhaps locked. Okay, we'll try I've this one this. first. We'll work our way through. Anything good here? Me thinks you'll be pushing Living. up daisies before the eve is through. Oh shit, is she gonna kill me? Down with your weapons, now! Pardon the cliché, but this can be quick and easy, or long and painful. What will it be? I don't see anyone but you. If you're a one-woman ambush, you can't expect us to give up. Okay, okay, just ease off with your weapon. What is it you want? If you're just a single person, we can totally kill you. Let's let's go with that. Don't you fret. I'm not a one-woman ambush. There are three more of my friends hidden among the shadows. We're the best the Thieves Guild's got. If you want to give us trouble, then don't think you'll be walking out of here in one piece. Oh, okay, well, I'm in the guild. I'm sure you have lots of invisible friends, lady, but they don't scare us. Draw steel so that we can settle this little dilemma. I give, I give. Let's just finish this up quickly. Here's my money. Oh, that's the only option we have. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely not going to hand over my fucking money. We may just have to quick load here and pick a different option. Yeah, draw steel. It's too bad it comes to this. All right, boys, take him out. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, let's quick look, because we are literally already allied with the Thieves' Guild in some fashion. Don't worry okay. about me. There we go. Me Over thinks here. you'll be pushing up daisies before the eve is through. Ease off with the weapon. What is it you want? My demands are simple. Give me all your money and you get to live. Be a hero and you get to die. Whose coffers are we feeding? If it ain't too rude to ask. Okay, here's all of our money. Jeez, you'd think I'd be safe from bandits in the city. Whose coffers are we feeding? Your money goes to the Thieves Guild. You look to be newcomers, so think of this as your initiation to Baldur's Gate. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'm not about to give all my money to one woman, so it would be best for you to draw your blade so that we can settle this nice and quick. Or, all right, here's my money. This is odd, right? Because earlier, we had a run-in with, like, two or three other Thieves' Guild members, and there was reactivity to the fact that we had already encountered Baldur's Gate's Thieves' Guild and ingratiated ourselves within their ranks, and we're essentially a member, right? Whereas here, we don't have such a luxury. Okay, well, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> All right, let's fight. Oh yeah, okay, same thing as before. Okay, I'm not giving you my money. Draw steel. Okay, there we go. 
Let's cast horror right there. No, I must really not in this. Good. I don't think it actually had an effect. Put bless down right there. Let us enrage as well, because we may very well need to uh, get going with some. Oh shit. Like we may as we may need to rest no, later, I so really we may as well expend our enrages and all that. Ooh, Minsk is actually taking a little bit of heat. Let's get some healing on him. Oh shit. Okay. Never mind work. Wait, Dirk? Haven't we met Dirk? Do we know all of these thieves and we're just like obliterating the shit out of them? Huh. I swear the name Dirk is so familiar. Like, didn't we see this dude up inside of the Thieves Guild headquarters? Jesus, music is wild as hell. Okay. Well, what can you do? Protection from normal missiles. I'll try to ride it. Success. Ghost armor. I'll try to ride that as well. Oh, failed. Okay, arrow. It auto arrowed or auto identified. Let's see, who's carrying around all the different arrows? Oh, are you too far? Yeah, that's the issue. You want it? You got okay, it. Okay, let's get everyone grouped up a bit. Still too far, really. Oh shit, Imowen is still outside after I having picked. Had enough of this. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm gone. There we are. Oh! Oh shit. Oh, that was my enrage. Okay. Let's toss that over to Imwin. Arrow fire again. These look like arrows of plus one. Yep. Okay, anything else of interest here? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Fine. Hmm. Don't worry about me. Anything else around here? Ooh, an ID scroll. Okay. No less than done. Good, we'll take that. Oh, I can't. Oh, can you not actually carry... Oh, okay, I see. Huh. Well, shit. Let's move this up. And then... Move this over to you, and equip that. Good. Okay. Got potion here. Short sword of some kind, yeah. Plus one short sword. Okay. Let's put this inside of our potion holder. Did I end up reading History of the Dead 3? I'm almost certain I did. Wasn't that the, the prior one that we read? Let me double check. Because we could drop this if we have. Checking my notebook, sorry. Yeah, okay. History of the Dead 3. Yeah, because that was the one that was that seemed especially important to uh, the goings-on. Okay. Let's move this over to you. Stash that. Good. Minsk, still a little worse for wear, but... I've got this. I Probably can make it through this. As directed. There we are. Let's grab that. Oh shit. We're full of short sword. Okay, put that. I guess we could have just dragged it onto the scroll case. Don't worry huh? about me. Anything else here of interest? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, let's I've send Imwin around. Of this. Anything in this? History of the Drow. One. Okay. Sure. Let's move this over to Khalid. Good. Okay, and Imwin over here. Let's check this bookshelf. Your company is a welcome part of, of history this group. of Louis Ren. Okay. I don't think we've read that. 
Let's keep poking around here. Did we check this table? Must have. In here, anything of interest? Yeah, bookshelf. History of Gondigal, the Lost King. Have I read that? No, I've not. Okay. Goodness, we're finding a lot of shit in here. Okay. Grab this thing. And over here, what have we got? A little bit of money. Fine. Okay. Well, let's check this room. What's here? It looks like a desk. Nothing of interest. Okay. Let's I've get everybody this. and go upstairs to look around. There we are. Don't worry about me. Hmm. Let's do a quick save and we'll just send Emma around. I've done had Why enough not, right? of this. Okay. Anything here? History of Cormir. I've not read this either. Wow. Okay. Let's move that over to Khalid again. Over here. Cormir is like a fairly important subject matter as well, isn't it? Wouldn't be the first time we've heard of it. Okay. Up and over this way. Anything here? No, not in particular. How about over in this? Friends! Okay. No less than done. We'll take that and put it in our scroll case. Okay. Good. Lovely. I think that's a full clear for this one. Like. Sure was a fucking lot in there, huh? For a, a mostly unremarkable building. Like, the most important I've thing about this. it is that we had a run-in with the Thieves' Guild. And it was a very strange one at that, got right? This. Like, I'm not sure why the one meeting with fellow Thieves who were robbing a place elicited a seemingly reactive response, whereas this one didn't seem to this. elicit anything of, of that nature. Don't okay. worry about me. Anything up here? Could be. Let's do a quick save. There were things on the ground floor of this building, but I'm not sure if we could have stolen it. Let's see, this is Dombroth. I've not read that. Okay. Jeez, this place is really, like, fleshing out the old collection, huh? Okay, over here. Sembia. I have read about Sembia. Okay. Over here. Ooh, that is locked. Okay. Some money, a club, and a potion of healing. Yeah. Okay, I'll Don't take it. Don't worry about me. Very good. Don't worry about me. Okay, let's head on out. And we'll check this building. This. Do you think there's any reason to check these crates and boxes and stuff on the outside? I'm not sure. Like, we did have a reason to do it earlier, but... Now that we've cleared out that quest, I don't know. Don't worry about me. I guess we can just take a quick look. Yeah, empty. I think they've... Well, we can't even look in this one. But I think they've all been empty, haven't they? Huh. Yeah, weird. I can't seem to check it. Okay. Don't worry Let's about quick me. save. We'll head into this building here. Is this locked? It is. Okay. I'm gone. Let's give it a quick pick. You want and it? And we'll pop You've this open and head on in. Okay. Kids and I've a commoner adult. Okay. Anything else around I've here? Done had enough Let's of go this. upstairs. We'll send Imwin. Hmm. I've done had enough of this. Anything else to look at? It doesn't seem to be. Like there is anything. Okay. Check this thing. We got some money. Oh, Shadowdale 13. Is that one I need? No, it is not. Okay. Fine. I'm gone. There we are. Don't worry and let's about head me. on out. 
You want it? You got it. Okay. Tavern and inn. Right across from the Flaming Fist Castle. Hello. Oh, there's actually someone in here. Fandalin. Your party is free of the taint of evil. Please pass unmolested. Oh, jeez. Okay. Is this like some kind of super paladin or whatever? Oh, they they vanished. Okay. So that's probably an encounter unique to you want it? You got evil it. groups. Right? Bartender. You want some whiskey? If you've complaints about this service, there's a wall out back that'll be glad to hear them. So, would you like a drink? Yes. Let's see. We'll do one of these. Get restored and all that. Lovely. Should we try the drinks? We'll just see. Probably nothing. Okay, yeah, we've seen that before. Oh, shit, or have we? Huh. People fear that the Shadow Thieves are scouting for an Omnian invasion, but such rumors are prevalent, are more prevalent than any evidence supporting them. Oh, okay. Don't worry about me. I just scanned over and assumed that was some old stuff we'd heard before. Don't worry about me. Anything else here? There's a second floor bartender. Just for the gambling area. Okay. You want some whiskey? Same thing. Do you also provide the same rumors and all that? Hmm. Yeah, about the bad iron. Yeah, we know about that. Huh. Okay. Well, that seems Don't to be it. Let's me. head on down and out. Okay, and then Don't worry over this about me. way. Do a quick save here too. Okay. Now we have to check out these buildings. Can I even enter you this want one? It? You got it. Oh I can. Okay. Jeez, hidden ass entrance. Your oh wow, there's a name person here. Are no match for my magic. <gasps> oh fuck. Poor little thieves. You have chosen the wrong home to break into today. You do not rob from a simple merchant, but rather the master mage, Sunin. I will brook no excuses. Today is the day you die, robbers. Who oh, no. I know you said you wouldn't tolerate excuses, but we have a real good one. <laughs> die, mage. <laughs> we have a good excuse. Of course, I'll not be killing you alone. I have my servants to aid in the killing. They are but a teleport spell away. Oh shit. It's jo Jewelar and Maka. Oh fuck. Let's definitely take out the Wizard Lord first. Let's get healing as well now. There we go, put it on Minsk. Great. Lay down horror right there. Okay. Jeez. Let's toss out another heal on Minsk emergency. Cure light wounds again. There we are. Jeez, hang in there, Minsk. Holy fuck. Okay, let's try again. Oh, jeez. Hira took 14 damage. Okay, there we are. Getting people up. Okay. Good god. Yeah, what the hell? Okay. Let's check all this. Now we don't have it. Yeah, we used up all of our heals on that. Wild. Okay. Take these things. Vampiric touch. When this spell is cast, the target loses 1d6 HP for every two caster levels to a maximum drain of 66 for a 12th cast level caster. Okay, and then yeah, it heals you. This spell may not be cast multiple times to radically increase the caster's maximum hit points. Huh, 
I wrote it. Okay, good. Let's see, fireball. Stow that. Alright, what's this? Ring, identify it with a spell. Ever memory. Oh, this was a good one, wasn't it? Didn't we find one similar to this for priests? Ring of wizardry. Ever memory. Long ago, a grand wizard, okay, geez, take it easy, from Omn was rumored to have defied Mistra's limitations on the magical arts. Legend spoke of this wizard being able to cast spells without the limitation of memorization. In the end, it was found that his powers stemmed from the, from the several magical rings that he had made for himself. He proclaimed everlasting memory was a hoax, though his rings continue to be one of the most sought after items in the realms. Okay. Can memorize double the amount of first level wizard spells. Oh shit. That seems amazing. Okay. Mage book, wow. Holy fuck. Oh my god, that is outrageous! Okay. What else should I put on there? More magic missile? I guess so. Good. Wow, what a find, honestly. Alright, can I ID these? Oh, no. Okay. Fine. Hmm. Let's take this item. It's just a regular longsword, though. I've got this. And mage robes. We'll have to ID these later. I've got this. All right. Over here. What have we got in this barrel? Anything of interest? No. Seems like nothing. Okay. Over here. Throwing dagger. Eh. How about up this way? A little bit of money. Okay, good. Yeah, weird. I wonder if we'll find out more about this wizard situation. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a weird random encounter. Because, you know, this doesn't seem like a particularly important area. Like, it doesn't even have a its own name. It is amazing that there were dudes in there, though. For that encounter. I've got this. Okay. Over here? Weird, yeah, this is labeled general store, but how do I... How do I go in? Oh. Oh, way over here, okay. Don't worry about me. Hey, storekeep, what's up? Welcome to my humble establishment. Okay, we've heard all this before. Do you have anything worth buying? Hmm. <laughs> Seems like the answer is no. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, sure. You want it? Let's get you out of here. It. And is that everything down this section? Yeah, we just have this general you store to look it? into. Got it. Or no, we never looked inside the Merchant's League estate. Huh. Okay. Well, let's check this general store right next to it. Okay. Good. Oh, wait. This says something. General store. Okay. I've got this. Does this guy have anything for us? Storekeep? Welcome What's to up? my humble establishment. My doors are always open to those with coin in their pockets. If I don't have what you need, then you don't really need it. Okay, show me what you got. Oh, you actually do have de decent stuff. Well, look, you have a unique belt? Girdle of Bluntness, Destroyer of the Hills. Having lost friends and loved ones... To a series of raids by hill giants, Garar the Powerful made it his mission to cleanse his homeland of their presence. It is not known where he acquired this item, but with it, he single-handedly dispatched dozens of the creatures, all the while protected from the blows of their clubs. The remaining giants fled to neighboring lands, lands that lacked a similar champion and did not fare as well. Wow, plus four armor class versus crushing attacks. Very situationally useful. Okay. Anything else around here? Nah. 
Okay. Sure. Don't worry. I mean, about I guess me. if we knew that we were fighting a crush damage dude, we just equip that. Hmm. Okay. Let's get into this building. Do we need to pick it? I've done Dude. had enough of this. You want okay. it? Okay. You've got it. That's oh, locked. I thought we had unlocked it. I am gone. Huh. Oh, geez, look, I, I missed this. The mechanism that operates this does not have a conventional lock, and may be warded against simple spells. Oh. Oh, shit, okay. Which leads me to believe that, like, yeah, this is going to be a big, important place, as was alluded to in some of the main quest stuff. The Merchant's League. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Well, I think we cleared out looking through everything in this section of the city. At the very least. Oh, no, wait. We can look at this. I've got Let's this. look at the fountain real quick. And then we'll do, we'll read a book. Or something like that. Maybe we'll read about Cormier. Head on up here. Good. I don't think... Could we look at this earlier? At a different time of day? I can't even remember. Let's see. Anything? Hmm. No, nothing. Okay. Well, holy shit. I suppose when next we come back, we'll continue looking around through Baldur's Gate... Looking for more stuff. Probably encountering more weird, random folks. Just kind of chilling. <laughs> right? I, I Honestly, I didn't think that we would run into as many different people as we had this time. But, alas, here we are. And also, we kind of accidentally snuck into the Iron Throne's cellar, I guess. Important to keep in mind. And there was also a, a like basement area with someone named Diller. Should keep that in mind for later as well. Okay. Well, let's see. If you'd like to stick around, we will read, why not, Gondigal, History of Gondigal, the Lost King. Eh, why not? If you excuse me, though, I'm going to take a quick drink here. All right. History of Gondigal, the Lost King. Oh, whoops. Let me cross this off my to-read list. Let's see. Gondigal, the Lost King. There we go. Arabelle, long under the dominion of Koromir, for a time became the center of a swordsman's empire. This swordsman was Gondigal, the Lost King, who in the Year of the Dragon... 1352, Dale Reckoning, attempted to carve a kingdom for himself centered on Arabelle. It was to extend north to the desert mouth, desert's mouth mountains, south and west of Wyvern Water, and the farms outlying the Evening Star, and east to Tilver's Gap and the mountain passes. In the years following, people would say that Gondigal's reach was no longer than his blade. He could not hold any of the territory against the might of Cormir, Sembia, Daggerdale, Tilverton, and several of the other Dales, all of whom he drew the blood and ire of in the making of his throne. Gondigal ruled for less than a season, though. He reigned, officially, for scarcely eight days— the remainder of his rule was spent fighting here and there against one foe or another in the lands he claimed. His troops were largely mercenary. His treasury of seized goods was small and soon gone. One night, Gondigal's force simply melted away before the advancing troops of Cormir and was gone. King Azun IV retook Arabelle on that morn without wetting a blade. No one has ever found the body of Gondigal. He is known to have fled north and then east via Teshwave, but then his fate becomes a matter of conflicting rumor and legend. How did people just lose this guy like this? That's wild. Some believe he still lives with a score or more of loyal followers, keeping court in the wilds somewhere, 
A careful and ruthless bandit who takes care of that none survive his who takes care that none survive his attacks to carry tales anywhere. Weird. It couldn't be that he was a wizard because he was notoriously a swordsman. Huh. Unless like he was a secret sort of like wizard mage. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, where were we? Yeah. When entire caravans vanish at times anywhere between the High Dale and the far off Impulter, Impulter, he is blamed by talk in the taverns. Gondagul was said to be a tall, gray haired warrior of considerable personal skill and intelligence. His badge was a gray wolf's head, face on with red eyes. Caravan guards often warn mer merchants to beef up the escort on a particular caravan, else thy gold'll soon be gilding Gondagul's throne. Gondagul was an impeccable swordsman, and somewhat chaotic in his self-professed natural alignment, neutral al alignment. If he does indeed yet live, the magic or treasure he carries and who his allies might be are all unknown. Gondagul's reign had a great influence on the king of Cormir. At the time in his second decade of rule, not only was Azu Azoan forced to put down an effective rebellion in his own country, he was forced to pay more attention to matters outside as well. Sutsail to become... Out, or out... Fuck me. He was forced to pay more attention to matters outside Sutsail, to become the ruler of a nation as opposed to a city-state. Further, the bloodless assault on Arabel was Azun's first true experience at the head of his army, and the joy of freeing the people of Arabel is one that remains with him. Huh. Oh, so they... Right. So were they happy under Gondagul then? The people of Arabel? Because this reads as if, like, they were happy under it, and but the king of Cormier showed up, took out Gondigal, sent Gondigal wherever, right? Literally took him out, didn't necessarily even kill him, who knows? And then said that, like, what the king of Cormier did, he's, he proclaimed that it was, like, a good thing, when we have truly no idea. Huh. How weird. What an odd situation. Does this person show up? This almost seems like it's built toward, like, this person showing up somewhere at some point. As some sort of weird, important figure. Huh. That said, they don't exactly have... Like, what makes them exactly important, though? Only their, like, political positioning, which is irrelevant now that they've been entirely displaced... Right? I guess they're a decent swordsman. Huh. How odd. Yeah. How odd. Because it's not like they have some sort of special ability or power or anything like that. Strange. Alright. Yeah. History of Gondigal, the Lost King. I guess we'll hear more about Gondigal a little bit in the history of Cormir when we get to that. Okay. There we go. We'll drop that right there. Well, like I said, when next we come back, we'll continue looking around Baldur's Gate. We've still got plenty more to look through. We're going to finally make it into the northwesterly divide or section of the city, where it seems like there's some really high upscale buildings and all that. You wanted We've also got that it. wild... What, what was his name like... What was that dude's ridiculous name? The the dude who like kidnapped the nymph and all that. He had such a wild like rage ham or something. <laughs> the raging ham. I don't know. Hmm. Oh yeah, the nymph. Rage fast. Okay. Oh god, what an eerie noise. Well, like I said, when next we come back, we'll continue looking around Baldur's Gate. We've got all that business. There's also the fancy temples that we never really had too much time to explore right there. Right. Still, so much left to do in Baldur's Gate, it feels like. So much left to do in the city. And in, in the game as well. Right. Not only do we have all this stuff, but we have 
few other locations I'd like to check out before we, you know, get all this shit dealt with, right? Will there be a point of no return in the game? Will the game, like, let me know when we reach that? That way, like, if I want to continue adventuring around the world map and see everything? Or should I just, like, before I continue on with the main quest, should I do that? I don't know. Huh. I'm assuming there'll be quests here in Baldur's Gate that will send me beyond the city, though, right? Like, surely the rest of the game doesn't just take place exclusively in the city and all that. Surely. I guess I don't know, though. All right. Well, like I said, <laughs> when next we come back, all that stuff and more, more exploring the city. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>